What's up everybody, it's Coach JB. This week we are breaking down Wu Xian, who was the 2021 CBA MVP. But before we get into the breakdown of this MVP, please do not forget, save this video for later and share it with a friend so this way they're learning as well. Getting into the breakdown, the majority of his baskets came out of a pick and roll scenario this year. 50% of those pick and rolls were from a middle ball screen or a step up. And then 43 were from a sideline pick and roll and about 7% came from a drag. Below that, you can see how many of those baskets were scored off of a three, a mid range and a drive. In the middle or step up, it was 80% were threes. Sideline pick and roll again was heavy on threes at 70%. 15% were either mid range or a drive. And when a drag was set, it was split right down the middle, 50-50 for drives and mid range. Now, before we break down the different ways that he was scoring, let's check out this definition of the step up screen. The step up screen is a ball screen set with the screeners back to the baseline, typically sending the offensive player to attack downhill and to the sideline. Step ups can occur in the half court setting or in transition. The screener typically steps up from the corner or the short corner area. In this clip, we see that the screener steps up from the slot area to set an on ball screen and the ball handler uses that screen to get downhill and pull up for a mid-range jumper. Now they did run one set for him to get him into a middle ball screen and that's this weave action and you can see as soon as he comes off of it, he's trying to pull for three. Let's check it out again live so this way you can get a feel for it. Now what was interesting about his middle ball screens and him shooting threes is that the defense was pretty much giving it to him. They were either switching or in this clip they go underneath and in our last clip they played drop coverage so it didn't really make sense because he was knocking down these shots. Now one skill that I did love that he used on the sideline pick and roll was he would reject or refuse using the screen. This really puts the defense in a bad position because they're already shifting over to take away the screen. And you can see here, he dribbles up, rejects it, and gets a wide open layup. Now, if you don't know how to reject or refuse using a screen, make sure that you enroll in one of our academies. Here's a drill from our point guard academy showing you how to refuse the screen. All right, guys, now we're gonna take a look at refusing the ball screen. So I'm just gonna start from a stationary position on these so we can have we can have movement or obviously I can be relaxed and be kind of stationary with my dribble. And right now I'm gonna work more off some manipulation. So I'm gonna work on calling for the screener and see if my defender kind of reacts. A lot of times when you call for the screen, the on-ball defender can look or he can relax. And if I have a little bit of space to refuse, to refuse the screen, I wanna get into that. So the first segment, I just want you to focus on dribbling outside hand and being in relaxed mo movement and call for the screen. And as that ball starts to hang, all right, this is the key component. As the ball starts to hang, obviously when it's here, defender thinks you're typically gonna put the basketball back down. So the longer it can hang, the more deceptive it is. So if I hang the ball from this movement, I call for it, call, come set it, come set it. And then from there, as it's hanging, I wanna go open drop, meaning my feet open up outside my shoulders. From there, load up and push cross to get downhill on this refusal. Set it. <laughs> Set it. The first movement we're gonna work on is a push cross. I have my, I have left, right without the dribble. Next dribble, left foot, and then I wanna finish on my right foot with my right hand. So we're gonna get into runner segments for now. Set it. Come, come. Again, this is just one drill that you can get inside of our academies. Now let's check out some more clips of Wu Jin live so you can see how he flows in a game. <laughs> Oh, 
还有一点时间啊，还能够再追回去分数，差十五分。哎呦，强行抢回来了。所以这是老朋友了，这是一问题。no， 这边这边的首发情况呢？除了我们刚才提到的刘和一之外，还有朱旭航、陆文博。另外。